Good morning, Shalimar. Good morning, Mom. Okay, Shalimar, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Shalimar Mamawag, 29 years old, single mother, one child. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? They have a high salary, Mom. Then why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other countries? Uh, near in the Philippines, Mom. How are you qualified for this job? I'm Hannes, polite. Okay, may I know what your educational level is? High school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? Domestic helper, ma'am. Which country was that? P Singapore. Okay, Singapore. Do you have any experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. And whose babies are you taking care of? My child, ma'am. How about elderly, Shalimar? No, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother is low and the Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, Shalimar, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? Mother, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone. Yes, ma'am. But instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand, Shalimar? Two years contract, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Um, I'm a good person, disciplined person, honest, polite, industrious, respectful. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will work hard because I want to help my families and, and to support the education of my child. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke, Shalimar? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food?